All right. Hello, all followers of Crypto Chicks. I am Audrey. I'm part of the marketing team at Crypto Chicks, as is Olga. Say hello, Olga. Hello, everyone. And of course, Elena, one of the co-founders and our CE. Oh, say hello, Elena. Hello, hello. So we are taking a break and broadcasting to you during the Futurist Conference. So if you don't know, the Futurist Conference is one of the premium events in the blockchain space in Canada, as is the Crypto Chicks Conference that we do annually. But because of COVID, obviously, we can't meet in person. So this is all happening virtually. So yesterday, the conference kicked off. It ended in a rooftop a uh, virtual party on Decentraland, which was a lot of fun. And it got me kind of obviously missing. We're missing that connection, that human connection we get when we meet with uh, the Untraceable team at the Futures Conference. So I was asking my fellow crypto chicks, what is it about the Futures Conference that you love? Is there a moment? Is it just the vibe? So Elena, Futurist. Go. Oh my God. So last two years that I've been to the Futurist, I loved the food. So that's that was my favorite. And of course the speakers, but the food, the food that the was food. Un unforgettable. The food. Wow. Wow. <laughs> you know, that, that was unexpected. <laughs> well, well, it's funny because now that I think about it, every crypto chick event we have, even if it's just food is is you know, integral. <laughs> it, 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 it is. Sometimes I, I think the people come into our conference just for the food. No, I mean, maybe to listen to Vitalik as well. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah, it's the food. No, I'm just kidding. Olga, how about you? Well, I like a futurist. I like conferences in Toronto and futurist is one of those conferences which you don't want to miss. Every year, it's unforgettable experience and what I love the most about it is the vibe they create and traceable team the lineup of speakers they put together just amazing yeah. and of course food and vibe <laughs> and play vitalik ben goertzel uh, and tracy rooftop. rooftop and tracy from uh the untraceable team untraceable. phenomenal she's also a crypto chick which uh we love I had a moment last year, I was launching the Hatchery, which is a Crypto Chicks uh, project, which Elena will touch on in a moment. And I had three teams of young, budding female entrepreneurs ready to pitch their projects to the audience. And we had technical difficulties. And I looked at them and I said, this is an awesome opportunity to improv and forget about what was in your PowerPoint because we really all hate them anyways. And just look directly at the audience and talk to them and talk to them about your project. And uh, so it actually ended up being a lot of fun and they were able to improv. And so, yeah, that on top of seeing everybody. And when I saw Tracy announce that the conference was going to go virtual, it, it kind of, you know, made me a little, little homesick missing all my, you know, all of us and being able to hang out at Rebel Nightclub. And the food. And the food, Elena. <laughs> Food. <laughs> Coming soon, crypto cooking with Elena. There you go. <laughs> and wine drinking, of course. Um, also a core part of our meeting. Anyways, Elena, last night you were on a Bitcoin panel. Like, are you the cause of this I up, this crazy price spike in Bitcoin happening right now? Sixteen thousand USD. Last time I checked. What do you think? Yeah, my first time on Bitcoin panel and the Bitcoin is 16,000. Of course, of course, that was it. Yes. Yeah, uh, yeah but I believe that me was the, the sole uh, influence to the Bitcoin. And because we also predicted on this panel, we predicted that it goes up. So, yeah, there you go. People right. listen. Um, I was talking to somebody today about do I sell by the dip? And he's like, no, you hodl. He's like, I stopped <laughs> doing that. Just hold on to it. It's like, okay, okay. Um, so one of the things I love about the space and the Futures Conference and watching all the discussions kind of rings, just brings it home. And that's the crazy, fun, intelligent, and creative people you meet in the space. And Crypto Chicks, we have a program called The Hatchery, which brings a lot of these 
projects up through like an incubation kind of platform. So Elena, what's happening in the hatchery right now? How many projects are we looking at this year? Hatchery, we have 12 projects this year uh, from many, many countries, actually, <laughs> not only from Canada. And uh, so not all of them women led. We have, I think, one man led project in our hatchery as well. So right now they all are uh, doing their courses, the assignments and also preparing their MVPs and landing pages on boarding customers. Uh, so basically testing, testing, testing their idea before they put any money into it. So, so this is our purpose and this is what they do right now. Now you mentioned uh, MVP, so uh, minimal viable product for those that don't know, and there actually be a webinar on that, pro uh, on that topic coming up, but coming up soon is Blockchain 101. Uh, Elena, do you want to, when is that and how is that going? Uh, so that's going to be on November 17th, and we're running it together with the Delia program. This is a uh, uh, credit for female entrepreneurs uh, program, and also this program is supported uh, Blockchain 101 and all webinars that were given, 10 webinars from October to March. Uh, it's supported by the government of Canada, and right now, last, today, I, this morning, I checked, we had for the Blockchain 101 we had 108 people registered and I saw some emails coming up today so it's over 110 participants for the blockchain 101 for business wow. so that's very exciting that's fantastic wow. and yeah almost all of them are women almost all of them that's fantastic and almost all of them are women from Ontario so this is the this is our wow, focus amazing. group for, that's our focus for that program. For that program, Women that's Entrepreneurs program. in Ontario, yes. Correct. That, yeah. But anybody can join that. Anybody everybody can. anybody can join, yes. We're focusing, we're marketing only for uh, women in Ontario, but right. any money, you know, if you're a man, it's fine. It's if you're not from Ontario, it's fine. Please join. We will tell you everything right. about blockchain and how to use it for, for your business. Right. Now, one of the things that comes up in the digital space is how to hodl. How do you store your, how do you store your digital assets? And Olga, we're running a contest right now with a great company, one of the best hardware wallets on the market, if not the best. Go, Olga, tell us all about it. We do, we do run a contest right now. We started it. Here you go. Show it to <laughs> us, Alina. <laughs> Go, Lena. Go, Lena. <laughs> Go. Yeah. Go so quickly about how to participate. If you want a chance to win a BC, BC hardware wallet, exactly the one Elena is holding right now and showing to us, you have to go on Twitter, follow CryptoChicks and BC Wolf. Watch for a series of questions to be posted from CryptoChicks account. Tweet your answer with hashtags I want a BC vault and contest. Answer correctly the question and you will be entered into a draw for a chance of winning a BC vault. Right. Um, announcement of the winners will be live on Facebook on November 23rd. You are welcome to participate. Go on Twitter, follow CryptoCheck BC vault and find the link for the whole bunch of rules around this contest right and last you can, but not least sorry go ahead <laughs> yeah i have a wallet dis dis wallet is disappearing da -da -da. So this wallet, which is disappearing will be shipped to the winner of the contest yes yeah and it's going to be shipped like this Bum. right so that's crypto chicks underscore or crypto underscore chicks and bc underscore vault follow them on follow us follow them on twitter You'll learn a lot about digital wallets just through the questions and you can answer multiple questions. So each question you answer is another entry into the draw. So that's it from us. We're gonna cut back to the Futures Conference. Coming up, we've got gaming. We've got a lot on decentralized finance. We have C5 versus DeFi, which is centralized finance versus decentralized finance. So much more coming up. It'll probably wrap on the virtual rooftop of Rebel Nightclub in Decentraland. You'll see avatars of us there. Woo woo! Dancing and That's eating right. food, food, eating virtual food. Food, virtual <laughs> food. So that is virtual.futuristconference.com and we'll see you in Decentraland. All right.
Ciao for now. Ciao, bye. Bye, girls. <laughs>